Hi everyone, this is Yasuka and it's time for Massage Monday. For a view was a request, this week I'm going to show you the acupressure points for diabetes. The acupressure will help keep it under control in a natural way. It doesn't work like a magic button to cure diabetes right away. It does not replace your medical treatment or your need to change your lifestyle or diet. I will show you three acupressure points on your hand and three points on your leg and foot. These points will help improve the blood circulation, organ activity, and blood sugar metabolism. The first point is called small intestine 4. Follow the pinky bone towards the big bump on your wrist, and it's where the bone ends. There's a depression. So press this point with your index finger. The second point is called pericardium 9, and it's on the middle finger on the index finger side. It's a few millimeters above the first joint by the nail bed of the middle finger. So press this point with your index finger or your hook thumb. The third point is called large intestine 5. When you open your hand, there's a depression at the base of your thumb by the wrist in between two tendons. So that's the point. So you can press this point with your hook thumb. Now onto the foot. The first one is called Kidney 1, and it's located on the sole of your foot in the center at the edge of the ball of foot where the color changes. Press with overlap thumbs. The next point is forefinger width up from the inner ankle bone. If you go up from the ankle bone, you'll feel a dip on the border of the shin bone and most likely it's painful to press. This is called Spleen 6. Press these points with hook thumbs on both sides or overlap thumbs with both hands on the shin. Gently bring the shin muscles to save your thumbs. Here's overlap thumbs with the hands wrapped around the leg. You can also raise your knee if that's more comfortable. Find the position that works for you. The third one is called liver 3 and it's at the end of the valley between the big toe and the second toe. You will feel a very distinct sensation when you press this point. You can press or make short strokes with your fingertip. If it's hard to reach, use a tool such as back of the pencil with the eraser. You can also press with your heel. If your toe is flexible enough, you can also press it with a hooked big toe. Press these points for one minute as you breathe deeply on each side every day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe.